Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up and install a Philips Wiz Smart Wi Fi light bulb. So we've got one here, and we're just going to screw it into whatever fixture that we are going to use it on. Now, what's unique about these Philips Wiz bulbs is that they are at a lower price point than the Philips Hue bulbs that are smart bulbs traditionally, and these work on Wi Fi, meaning they don't need a hub. So after you've screwed the bulb in, the next thing that you're gonna do is just go over to the app and you're gonna download the Wiz app. So you can see it right here on my phone and we're just gonna click install. So Wiz is actually a company that either partnered with Philips or has been bought by Philips. I'm not sure of which one, but it is a typically much lower cost than the Philips Hue bulbs that Philips traditionally made, which are smart bulbs like this one here. So. Now that we've downloaded the app, we're gonna go ahead and click open. Now we need to agree to the terms of use, so I'm just gonna click through this and click I acknowledge. Now we need to create a home. I'm just going to leave the name as my home and click done. Now I'm going to click allow while using the app. Now we're gonna go ahead and click add a room. We're just gonna call this one living room right here and we're gonna click OK. It says there is no whiz light in this room yet, so we're gonna go ahead and click Add a device. Now what we're gonna do is click on Light. Now the Wi-Fi network that you're connected to will pop up, and you just need to enter your password and make sure that you're connecting to the correct Wi-Fi network. Now that we entered the Wi-Fi password, we have two options for pairing the Philips Wiz smart light bulb. We can either do a smart pairing or a manual pairing. Now it's important to note this will only connect to a 2.4 gigahertz network. So if you have a 2.4 gigahertz setting on your router, make sure that is enabled. Or if you have a 2.4 gigahertz network on your router, make sure that you are connecting to that. 2.4 gigahertz is available on most routers, but sometimes you might have to disable the five gigahertz network while you're trying to connect a 2.4 gigahertz device like this smart light bulb. So I'm gonna go ahead and click up here at the top and click start. It says power off your lights, power on your lights and tap on start. So I'm just gonna cover this up so it doesn't block out the camera here and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light on here with the switch and you can see that it lit up and now we're gonna go ahead and click start. Now it's searching for the lights. All right, so our light popped up right here in the top. Now it says press finish once all your lights have been found. So our light has been found. You can see it up here in the top. So we can go ahead and press finish. But in this mode, you can pair more than one smart light. So if you're having that issue, go ahead and wait for those other light bulbs to be found. But we're gonna go ahead and click finish. Now we can choose a different icon for the light. So we could choose a lamp, we could choose a hanging light, we could do whatever we want here. So we're just gonna leave this one as a lamp and then we're gonna go ahead and click done here. Now, once we completed that setup, the light loads up onto the app and now we can control it from our phone. So I can go ahead and turn it off right here. I'll take the hat off so that you can see what's happening now. And if I wanna turn it on, I can turn it on right from my phone. Let's go ahead, turn it off. And then we can also change the colors and what we can do with this. So now let's try out a couple of features of this Philips Wiz connected smart light bulb. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna click it on here and then we can see the light bulb turns on. Now what we've got here is two options. The bottom option is the dimming level. So we can turn this all the way up or we can go all the way down or anywhere in between here with this dimming. So let's just turn it down for the video. And then you can actually adjust the temperature color of the light bulb here. So I can make this a really cool white or I can go down here and I can make it a warmer white color. But on top of just being able to change the colors between the different spectrum of warm white and bright white or daylight white, we can actually go in here and we can make other selections 
So in this menu mode, we can change between different colors. So we can do standard lighting options up here, but then we can even do custom colors. We can do a fireplace, and then it's gonna be a red, orange. We can choose other options here, romance, party, spring, summer. So let's go ahead, we'll choose party right here, and then it gives it a red hue, but let's try a custom color here. So let's just see if we can get green. We can get green, we can get blue, we can get pink, orange, all these different colors in between. And it doesn't show great on camera, but this is changing color between all these different colors. So you can see we're bluish purple here, we're going to green, we're going to yellow. So really this smart Wi-Fi smart bulb from Philips, this Wiz Connected one, has pretty much all the same functionality as this higher priced Philips Hue light bulb. I actually picked this up at Home Depot the other day. Uh, it was like 12 or 15 bucks, but they do have these on Amazon as well. I actually was surprised to see this uh, because I'm used to using these Philips Hue, which actually cost a lot more. So this is a good value option if you wanna get started with smart lighting and you don't wanna have to buy a hub. This doesn't require any kind of a hub and you don't wanna have to buy any kind of kit. So you can buy these in just individual light bulbs. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your Philips Wiz connected smart Wi-Fi light bulb. Please go ahead, give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you.